this video, we'll see how to create widenings. Offset alignments that we created previously can be used for creating a road widenings. And we'll see how to do that. We just click on one of the offset and the contextual tab shows up for that offset. And there you can click here at the launch pad, you can click add widening. Create widening portion as a new alignment. Select no. And here you're, you're prompted to select the start station of the widening. You can, you can come here, you can snap to the, to the nearest station. And then you're prompted to select the end station. Let's select this. Let's snap to that again. And then we are prompted to enter the widening offset. So this offset is from the middle of, the, of this road or from the center line alignment. <clears throat> so this widening is not from the offset but it's from the off uh, from the center line alignment so this eight meters is from this uh, center line alignment or the parent alignment to eight meters wide if if i'm okay with eight meters i just click enter which i am or if you want a different figure you can type in the figure that you want okay for this i am okay with eight meters let me just click enter and there you go, you see the widening has been created on this offset alignment. Okay, and then for the offset alignments, a window pops up here for controlling the, for enabling you to set up the parameters of this offset or, or this widening. For example, the offset here is um, negative 8 meters. Negative because it's on the left. The left is regarded as negative. As you can see, this alignment is going downwards. So the left is on this side. If 0 is here and you're moving downwards, the left is on this side. And the right is on the other side. So it's negative 8 here because it's on the left. And now the start station is 60, the end station, the length, the region, or the transition, the widening length is 80 meters. Transition at entry point. So you can set, you can change this parameter from curve line curve. Currently it's a curve, a line, and then a curve. You can change it to something else if you want. If you want curve, curve, reverse curve. You can change that, you can see it updates immediately. And this transition length from here to here is 25 meters. If you want it longer, you can type that to 30 meters, for example. And then the curve radius, you can specify the curve radius. Here you can change this other side to curve, curve, reverse curve. If you want the other option, curve, reverse curve. Most probably you want them to be consistent. You want these to be the same as this. Also, you can change the length there. And once you're done with the widening parameters and you're okay with that, you can escape and you have your widening to your preferences.